Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2017 monthly reading. This is a general reading, whatever comes up will come up. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Taurus for the month of October. I have pre-shuffled these four decks that you saw in the middle. Alright, so the basis of the reading is the devil card, okay, which is also the shadow side. Okay, that's about obsessions, it's about materialism, it's about addictions, it's about power and control struggles, you know, um, it's also a false imprisonment, that's the basis of your reading, okay, so we're going to get more on this. Uh, the first card is the Ace of Cups, that's, that's, that's a good card, okay. Pay attention to your dreams this month because the Ace of Cups says that you should be having some pretty vivid dreams, okay? But it's a beginning of love. It's some kind of love that, you know, you can celebrate, okay? So that's that's fantastic. We do have this Ten of Pentacles up here right next to it. This is a, a abundance and security in your home life. So I think that you're feeling probably pretty abundant and secure at this time. Um, financially I think I mean you could be improving your home you could be making home improvements um, you could be buying a new home but I do I just see that you know there's a lot of focus on your home at this time and I think there's there's just some projects I, I think that um, some of you may be working from home as well this month um, or just all your hard work is paying off and that therefore you can finally make the home upgrades that you've been wanting to make. I see some changes on the horizon. I think you need to make some changes. Um, there's some kind of ignoring of a situation and I'm not sure what that is, but there's, there's pretending that something isn't what it is. Um, somebody could be leaving. Um, that could be part of it. You could be moving. Or somebody else could be moving. That could be part of the changes in your home. Um, just a restructuring of your home. Uh, I see that somebody could be leaving. It's either, you know, either it could be you or somebody else. Um, we have the Seven of Cups down here and the outcome. That is be careful what you wish for. Make sure you think twice. Be careful. Um what you own owns you um i see you're spending a lot of time focusing on work you know and focusing on your home there's not really a lot of love here the ace of cups and the page of cups that's what i see for love i do see the three of cups as a celebration but i see that there is new love coming in or right around you but the most of this is um, struggling over letting go of something and focusing your time on your work more than love okay I think that you're not giving adequate time to love I think maybe I mean there's materialism here with the devil card so maybe you're focusing more on materialistic things than you are on love okay and and this is where you need to refocus this is the ace of swords this is a breakthrough this is an awakening of some sort okay where you need to you need to wake up this is a wake-up call you know are you focusing are you focusing too much time on your job 
in order to have materialistic things or to feed addictions or whatever the case may be? Are you not giving the adequate amount of time to love? I mean, because we have this devil card here right in the middle, which is the basis of your reading. It is connected to the Empress, which is probably you in this reading. I think that you have a beautiful soul, beautiful inside and out, okay? I think um, it's a time of rebirth for you. You may not even know it, but this month could be a time of rebirth where you need to go within and fo refocus on your inner beauty because we have inner beauty twice right here, right next to each other, but it's next to this this working card. So this really tells me that you need to focus more on yourself than on your work, your job, okay? So this is this is a general reading. I think a lot of you are putting too much of yourself into your job for materialistic benefits, you know, for, uh, you know, to improve your home, to get the money to do that, you know what I'm trying to say? If that's materialistic, that's the ego, to supply the ego, whereas you should be really loving yourself and, and honoring your soul and feeding your soul, okay? Because that's what, that's what this is. All right, so you, this takes, um, you're going to have a breakthrough, you're going to have an awakening, you know, that says be careful what you choose, and that's why this card came up. Do you choose love or do you choose ego? Because ego is in those cups. Ego is in the cups. Hold on a minute. Think twice what you choose. If Don't expect love to come in if you aren't giving it the time of day. Okay, be careful what you choose. Because the love, there is love to be had. There is, but you have to you have to be have the time for it, okay? So this right here, the chariot, that's about putting yourself in the driver's seat. It's about mastering your emotions. It's about moving as well. So you know, and this is this is leaving something behind. So some of you could be moving, or that's that could definitely be happening, or some of you could be traveling this month. This right here is ignoring a situation, pretending you know that whatever's going on isn't really going on when it is. There could be a little chaos, a little bit of chaos in your life right now because of a, maybe a split of some sort, you know, or something going on. Um, there's a little bit of chaos, but um, it looks like there is, there is new love. There is new love to be had, all right? This, there is some moving here. So some of you are definitely moving to a new place. We are moving, moving. Um, this can signify moving. Um, so some of you are definitely moving. And there's, there's, there, should, there could be a split this month. Somebody walking away. Um, yeah, let's get the next deck. I do see some travel. There is some travel if you're not moving. Then there's some travel, but you're at there's a, there's definitely um, some some decisions that need to be made. Okay, there's a decision that needs to be made that you are just ignoring. You're ignoring something. Um, I think you've put a lot of work into something, and perhaps it hasn't come to fruition the way you'd hoped, and and you're trying to to bury it maybe in your work. Now, there could be a third party situation in your relationship. Just have to tell you this. I've been trying to ignore it, but I can't. Now that this card came up, this is a Air, this is a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is also a Leo, and this could be a third party relationship. So somebody, your partner could be, you know, you could be leaving. A, this is not will not resonate for everybody. It will resonate for some. You or your partner could be interested in somebody else. Could be a fire sign, and they could, you know, there could be a new love there. There is a split somehow. Okay. And I think there's a lot of sexual attraction in one direction, either you or your partner. This is a page of swords. This is an uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is also a very spiteful energy. This is so, you know, and it's right over this ego. Your ego might be hurt, okay? If your ego is hurt during this month, 
be careful be careful this is a serious be careful card be, you could have regrets do not act in spite okay don't try not to act in spite okay um, that's just a word of warning because this is a very spiteful energy um, your wishes everything happens for a reason and I have to tell you that the nine of cups is satisfaction even though you may be pretending and not wanting to make a choice and not wanting this change it leads to a better um, fulfillment of your wishes okay it does everything has a purpose trust the journey six of cups somebody from the past two of swords pretending again you have this card twice this is the stalemate this is pretending that something really isn't happening and you may be responding with spite with with anger okay try not to do that just really do your best not to that's an, that's an ego um, response okay because we have ego right here in the middle your ego could be hurt this month Taurus okay it could be nine of pentacles you could be coming in independent if you're not already if you are you will probably remain independent because this is the independent man or woman who is taking care of themselves quite well being grateful for all that they have living in life's little luxuries just being happy with what they have being grateful okay even if you lose something still be you still have a lot okay so remember that um The Six of Cups is reminiscing about the past. This is a breakthrough. This is a wake-up call. Now you or your partner that you're with now, if you're partnered and, you know, and you're cross-watching or whatever the case is, um, could have somebody out somebody from their past or this could be you that has somebody from your past okay I see that there is a another interest here okay there's another interest it's either you or your partner um, everything has everything happens for a reason there's a greater purpose and there's your wishes will be fulfilled in the future okay it leads this person walking away or you walking away whoever's leaving right here it might hurt your ego it might hurt you you know but it leads to your hopes and wishes being fulfilled it leads to the ultimate satisfaction okay it is the, the biggest advice I have for you is that you will need to master your emotions Pull out your inner strength, your courage, and your confidence, and use that to the best of your ability. You're about to receive some truth. Could be from somebody that you've known for a while. Okay, you're about to receive some truth. That might leave you independent if you're not already. You know, there could be somebody routes right around the corner for you, but you're still stuck in a situation or you don't want the change that's happening right now. And, and we're starting to bury this page of cups, which is new love. Okay? You're kind of like thinking, this is, they will either, you know, I'm going to be alone and blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't think you've got to change your thoughts. That's a stalemate. That's a, that's a false imprisonment, by the way, when you think that. That's manifestation. If you think you're going to be alone, then you're going to be. Ace of Cups again. Right up here with the Ace of Cups too. New love. New love. Strength. Yes. Okay. So you're going to have to have strength. That's all there is to it. A lot of it. We have strength twice now. Okay, the strength card comes up to let you know that you are going to have to be strong through this month. Something is going to come out that is going to need you to be strong. So be ready for it. And realize that when this happens, it's going to test your ego. It is. and it's, It might hurt your ego. But you're going to have to use your strength to get through it. And you're going to have to master your emotions. 
the magician. This is about action and power and having all the tools within you to get through anything. It's like magic. You have the awareness. You have the inner knowledge. You have the inner strength. You have the ability to manifest. You can do anything. You have the tools. This card comes up to remind you that you have all the tools to get through whatever this is that's leaving. Okay? This change that you're trying to ignore. This is the change and this is trying to ignore it. Because you've worked hard and you've been waiting. You've been wait you've been worked hard on this and it's not it didn't turn out the way you had hoped. Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Justice, that's a Libra. Okay, and the two of coins, there's the change. Okay. So the Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, um, Scorpio. Your new love could involve a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And you know, it could be beautiful. Again, I need to remind you, the Ace of Cups is about pay attention to your dreams. They're trying to tell you something. That Page of Cups is connected to the Strength card. That is, um, a page, the Queen of Cups is very intuitive. She's very charming. She's very beautiful, gentle, kind. All right? The strength card is next to it be, to let you know that you can surrender to this person. You can. You have the ability to surrender. But you might not do it out of spite. So strength is also a letting go card. You need to let go of somebody else, but you might be holding on out of spite. Or out of, I don't know what. Um, what is it? You might be holding on out of fear of the unknown, okay? You might be holding on thinking that you're not worthy. Think that, that you'll never find that again. Okay? This person is very loyal. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Very kind, very generous. And this person might be somebody from your past. We have this Six of Cups underneath it. Might be somebody you knew, might be somebody you had a past life with, might be somebody you knew as a child, might be somebody you dated in the past when you were younger. This is the breakthrough, this is the awakening. But you're, you're gonna have to have strength because I see that your ego is gonna be hurt. You're gonna have to be strength, you're gonna have to have strength to accept love from this person. I see that you need to have a lot of strength and confidence. Strength is also about confidence. And I think that your self-confidence is bruised because of the ego. That's where the strength card keeps coming out. It takes me a minute sometimes to get the, for the messages to come. It happens quite often, actually. But anyway, um, that's what it is. It's the confidence in yourself because your ego is going to be hurt because of this person that has left or is leaving. Your confidence is bruised. Your self-confidence is not. You don't feel worthy. You don't feel worthy. Oh, but this change is so needed. It is. It is. It is. It is. It's time to do the right thing for you and let go of that heavy burden. The Justice card says something heavy has been weighing you down or is weighing you down. This can also signify legal matters. This is also a karma card. Okay, so there's a lot of karma here. Everything happens for a reason. You have the tools to get through this. There could be a new love that comes up this month that you have to have self-confidence to get to do it. You know, to move forward, to, to believe in yourself, to, you know, acknowledge this person. You also have to give them time. I see that you might be burying yourself in your work and missing out on, on opportunities of love because you're not, you're focusing on work, burying yourself because of your hurt ego. So I think this is, and we all, every single person in this whole world has an ego. So it's not just, it's not you particular. 
it's not just Taurus. I'm a Taurus, so you know, whatever. I don't, you know, I have an ego. Everybody has one. Every single person. And I think this month, our egos are going to get hurt in some way. And I, I don't know how or who. For me, I don't. But I, I think I believe it. I do. I, I, something is going to happen, and and whatever happens is. We have to do the right thing. It's about being honest. It's about being just. It's acting in kindness, not in spite. Okay? She acts in a very loving manner. If somebody, it's about letting go. If somebody leaves, you, this, again, you have the strength twice. It's about letting go. And this person, whoever it is, is going away. Somebody is going away. And this is having the strength to let them go and if they've already gone you need to let them go emotionally okay so this month is about you know it's there's new love to be had but you have to be open to it you do if you're still stuck on something else because of a hurt you know ego then we're gonna keep having this same pull every month every week you know things don't change if we don't change things don't change but things are gonna things are changing things are changing I had one person say to me well I wanted to hear about my future and she wasn't doing anything to change her future nothing nothing so nothing was changing I mean you have to take steps too this is a guide She said, you got my past correct, 100% correct. She said, you got it all right. She said, you described my past, but she said, there's no changes in the future. <laughs> no. If you, if you don't make any changes, then there's nothing I can do about it. If you're not ready to change, if you want to stay stuck in this spot, then that's up to you. I don't. Have patience. Love is patient and kind. Always. Have patience. Love is patient and kind, always. Work towards having patience. If you are lacking patience with others, remember that you are human. Remember that they are human and different from you. If the impatience has to do with an outcome, your prayers are answered. Be a little more patient at this time. Have patience. Beautiful. So Taurus, this is what I have for the month of October. It looks like, you know, you might be going through something that is, uh, that might hurt, that might hurt you. Okay? But you, you're just going to have to have the inner strength to let it go. All right, and you can't just pretend that it's not real because it is. When it comes up, it is real, and you have to have the strength to let it go. You know, and you need to have patience. That's a big message right there. You need to have patience to let the future unfold. Unfold, okay? Um, that's what I see. 